In this video, I'll take you through the steps involved in getting access to what's the next .ai off of IBM Cloud. Um, I've logged into my IBM Cloud account here, and to get started, if I click on this um, navigation menu in the top left-hand corner here and scroll down to Watson X, when this next page loads, I click into the Watson X .ai tile here and click on Get Started. Uh, with this page, I'm going to um, select that I want my Watson X.ai instance to be in Dallas rather than Frankfurt. The reason I'm doing that is I've noticed um, some of the foundation models that IBM releases to Watson X.ai seem to come a little bit sooner or earlier to Dallas than they do to Frankfurt, right? So um, I'm going to select Dallas here and I'm going to go ahead and click on this create account or login button. Um, I can see that I'm already logged in and actually in the smaller text here it tells us that if you want to use this account that you're logged in with, click on this uh, click here button. So I'll do that and when this page loads I'm taken to the Watson X.ai studio which is here which is great. Um, now that I'm here I click on that I agree to the terms and conditions. I don't want to take a tour because we'll look at the um, what's an X.ai environment in more detail in a future video. So let's just close out of this. this um, and you'll see that the first thing that we need to do in order to set up our environment is to go and create a project, All right? So um, to do that, I click on this plus sign here and I'm gonna call my project uh, Sandbox, let's say Sandbox. Um, to create the project, I need a few, um, or a couple, I mean, uh, IBM cloud services that the project has a dependency on uh, created. First of those is a cloud object storage instance. So I click on add here um, and I'm asked to, or I'm given options to create a cloud object storage instance. I'm going to use this light plan because I want a free instance um, and click on create here. And once I'm taken back to this page here, I click on refresh and I should see that the new object storage instance is here and it is. So I click uh, create to go ahead. I just realized I spelled that wrong. Caught it just in time. Uh, sandbox, go ahead and click on create. And once I do that, um, the project is created, but I'm still not in a position where I can start working with foundation models on what's an X.ai. So to complete the setup of my environment, um, now that I have the project created, I click on this Watson X uh, option here, and I jump into what we call the prompt lab. Now, in a future video, we're gonna look at the prompt lab in a lot more detail, but just in terms of this initial setup, click into this tile for prompt lab here, and I'm, and I'm prompted that I don't have a Watson machine learning service created. So I say, uh, associate a service, and I'm gonna create a new service, I'm going to select what's machine learning here. I'm going to use a free instance of what's a machine learning. So click on create. And when the service is created, I can go and select the service and click on this associated button. Now that the service has been associated with our what's an X.ai service, we're ready to start working with um, foundation models on IBM Cloud via the Prompt Lab uh, here. And we're going to take a look at the Prompt Lab in a lot more detail in future videos. Okay, so this was a quick couple of minute um, uh, video just to help you get started, get set up, get an environment ready to go to start working with foundation models via Watson X.ai on IBM Cloud.